Hey girls, it's your girl Orenzi and welcome back. It's July. We have six more months to get it together. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the steps so that you can have the best six month glow up of your life. Okay, let's just get right into it. First category is going to be, and if I'm looking down, it's going to go right up. Self-assessment and goal set category. Take a breath. Okay, it's not over. We have six months left, thank God, and we're about to switch it up, okay? You are clearly tired of making excuses, and you want to live the life that's on your vision board. So, believe it or not, you're actually ready. Take a breath. Now, what I want you to do is grab a notebook, pen, or pencil, or some paper, because the tips in here are about to change your life. We're going to reflect on where... We are in terms of our physical, our mental, and our spiritual health. Where did we have these these expectations we set? We thought we were going to be. We, did we set our goals extremely big? Were we procrastinating? Are we consuming too much? Like, there's a lot of factors that go into self assessing. Just a real self assessment of your physical. Are you working out? Are you going to the gym? Are you having a good balanced diet? Are you journaling? Are you reading? Are you doing self-care, embracing and practicing gratitude? Are you praying? You know, these are a lot of things to kind of look at in your life. And if they're not lining up with the woman that you want to show up as, then we're going to create a quarterly vision board. I personally think 12-week year has literally changed my life. Like this year, my life has dramatically changed. I do a vision board. I have a big vision board that I do once a year. And then I have a vision board that I do every day three months. I call it like my quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. Treat, I treat my life like a business and that's called the 12-week year. If you didn't know that, it's amazing, okay? I say this, that way you can check in with yourself. Every three months, you give yourself 90 days. If you give yourself 90 days to do the goal that you set out, there's no way you can't accomplish at least one. So it gives you enough time. I used to make the mistake of making monthly goals and I would never have enough time to complete them. But 90 days, yeah, that's that's a good one. I want you to create a quarterly vision board every three months. I make a quarterly vision board on my laptop and I also write it out on a whiteboard that I have in my room as well. So that kind of helps me stay on top of like what I need to do in order to get that big vision because I'm starting I'm doing small things in each quarter, which will significantly add up to the end goal. This gives us the time to break down the goals from the big vision board. So if you want it to have a successful business, then in each three months, you want to purchase the right LLC. You want to set yourself up with the EIN, apply for a business banking account, like all these different things, get your credit together, make certain bill payments. All these things will happen in each quarter to line up to the bigger goal. We're going to put it on our laptop or our phone or in front of us and we need to see it every day. Like we have to see this every you have to see this every day. It's kind of like visualizing like I have my big vision board right above me. When I wake up, that's immediately what I see. I have my quarterly vision board on to the right of me and I have my laptop. I literally literally get on my laptop every day so I see it constantly. Like you need to com com constantly see the vision, okay? The next step, create a new daily and weekly routine that aligns to show up for yourself, including exercise, self-care, relaxation. I have three routines, okay? First routine is when I'm literally on go, like discipline. I'm like waking up 5 a.m., 4 a.m., sometimes 4.30 a.m., and I'm like going to the gym, I'm like going to the coffee shop, or I'm reading, like all this different stuff, I'm like on go. Then I have like my cycle routine where I do, aka my lazy routine. So I like do all the bare minimum things. Like, you know, I do self care. I turn in my assignments. I turn in the campaigns. I do all that stuff. But I'm just relaxing for the main point of time. And then I have my weekly routine, which is like I reset. I do my Sunday reset. I go get groceries. I clean up. Like all of that stuff to be productive, okay? If you're not productive, if you constantly stay in the house and, and especially if you work from home, that is an easy way to be depressed. So you need to come up with a new daily routine. And a lot of the times when you get used to something, you just need to like switch it up in your routine. 
because sometimes routines can get too routine. It is important to now that you've created that vision, quarterly vision, and you also, that leads to the big vision board at the end of the year. Now it's important to create a routine that's going to help you show up as the woman that you want to be. So for example, if the woman that you want to be goes to cafes or she plays tennis, then you need to make your routine a line about that. Go play t- maybe go play tennis while you're on your lunch break or go to a cafe and do work. Real things like that slowly but surely help you arrive at her. Now we're going to be going into our mental health. Quick dopamine is killing your goals. Pause from the screens, okay? Even if you have to delete Netflix or YouTube, okay, or Instagram, just imagine if you took that extra time to read a self-help book. Just imagine if you took that time to pour into yourself and invest into yourself. We are so, it's so easy to just get on our phone and just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. And And that's the problem why you're not hitting your goal. It's sad to say, but if you want to hit your goals, you can't watch everybody else's life while your life is going by and put you first. That quick dopamine will lead you down a spiral that you can't unspiral from. If you're going to release dopamine, release dopamine and exercise every second counts of your life. And if you are scrolling, you're just wasting time. And that could be the reason why you need a six-month goal plan, because you just need to stop scrolling. Delete those apps. Unfollow people that are not keeping you focused on your plan. So now we're going to get into the physical. You need to have a balanced diet, okay? A balanced meal plan. A balanced diet. A balanced meal prep, okay? Your body is like a plant. What you eat decides how you show up. If you eat greasy, oily food, you're not going to be up at the gym at like 5 a.m. on ready to go. It's so crazy how food can determine your life expectancy and like your life in general. If I'm only eating fast food and I'm not including any veggies into my diet, I'm not going to show up as my best self. I'm not going to have the energy. Our body needs some nutrients. We, if you want to show up as your best self and give it all you got these next six months, a lot of these fast food places you're going to have to not eat at. A balanced diet is including veggies, a protein, and a good carb, okay? Like a sweet potato and spinach is a great balanced diet. People think exercise is just like going to the gym, but it's really about how are you eating. You want to develop a exercise routine. The fastest way to showing up for yourself is feeling better about yourself. How are we going to show up and get and hit? Our, how are we going to show up and hit our goals if we don't like ourselves? If we aren't confident with what we see in the mirror? Okay, you have to love yourself. You have to accept the reality is, and that is that you need to be confident about yourself. And in order to do that, you need to lose the weight. Okay. The weight is different. It's not about, it's not about I'm I'm I I'm who I am and this and this and that. No. Okay. You're you're not where you're at or the confidence where you want to be, or you're not showing up as you want want to be, because you're not confident in your body, okay? Weight loss is the best thing that could ever happen to women because it changes your mindset. It literally you feel a sluggish feeling. But recently I've been focusing on leaning out and focusing on losing fat. And I'm telling you, it is a hard process. But once you get through it, you feel so great. You feel so amazing. You feel so confident in yourself and in your body. And I'm telling you, if you want to show up as her, then you got to do it. Okay. And you got to stick to your exercise routine. Now it doesn't have to be hard, but if you want to get those results, then you do have to increase that intensity. Okay, so next going into it, self-care. Invest in your looks because first impressions are everything. Looks matter and they matter to you. Okay, I don't care skin, hair, makeup, outfit. I don't care what anyone says. If they say looks don't matter, Everywhere I go, I always make sure I look my best. And then I also feel my best when I look my best because I'm confident. I'm like, bro, it smells good. You look good, okay? Make sure that you invest in your look so that you can feel confident in who you are when you walk out that door, okay? We're not wearing bonnets. We're not wearing pajamas to any type of store, okay? If that's not how she would show up or that your future person or your future life would show up, then why are we doing that? First impressions do matter. You could be you could be praying to Jesus for something that you really want. And then that person walks by you because you were wearing pajamas or you're wearing jogging pants everywhere. You know what I mean? 
it's so important to keep yourself together, okay? Making sure that you upkeep yourself. I don't care what anyone says, but we are judged by our appearance. And if you think otherwise, then I don't know really what to tell you, but that is the truth, okay? So it's really important that we keep ourselves together or we at least, you know, make sure that our clothes are fitting us properly. Making sure that your clothes, your clothes and your wardrobe match the woman that you want to be you're not going to show up as her the woman that you want to show up as or the person that you want to show up as if they don't wear big shirts and jogging pants then don't wear big shirts and jogging pants of course we have our days but for the majority of the part 95 percent, we need to have ourselves together okay it just comes off as attractive more hygienic clean and kept okay because we can definitely have the mental we look disheveled and like all of the place that's also stopping us as well coming up at number 10 rest 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 so that you can avoid burnout okay there's nothing like burning out and just literally falling off okay that's what happened to me this beginning of this year with my youtube channel i was uploading 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 didn't give myself a break and i burnt out and especially as a feminine woman, we have to rest, okay? We have to learn how to rest. That's really important, okay? It's important to go out with friends from time to time. It's important to have hobbies from time to time. It's important to just sometimes have a day and do nothing. Those days are going to thank you when you're busy and being productive. Get your seven to eight hours of rest. If you can get nine hours plus rest, that is amazing as well. Going to bed early, making sure you making sure you're setting yourself up for success with your night routine, which I'm gonna have a video about very soon. Yes, this will help you avoid burnout. I to plan my day, so I have a filming day, an editing day. Uh, sometimes I'll do filming and editing in the same day, and I have a day where I rest. I don't touch my computer, I don't edit, and it truly does help prevent burning out. Spiritual, be present, prayer, gratitude, choose a hobby or skill to learn um, that brings out your that increases your femininity that makes you feel at peace right now mine is cooking okay listening to podcasts positive affirmations i listen to mine's from the bible um i also have some like feminine affirmations that i like to listen to that just make me feel more womanly and make me feel more closer to god i don't care what it is if you want to accomplish if you want to accomplish a lot in this lifetime you have to have a higher power, okay? Dreaming big with no means to an end is, I don't know, crazy to me, but I always uh, I always give gratitude. I always pray, and my life is just so much better, okay? My life would suck if I didn't have Jesus in my life. My life would be terrible if I didn't have a higher power. And the reason I'm able to accomplish these goals faster than others, the reason why I'm able to have the life that I want is because of the God that I serve, which is abundant God, okay? And when you do that, you stay consistent. You have a why, you know what I mean? And it's just so important to be present and just to like, because we only get this life once, okay? You only get this six months once, okay? 2024 is only here. Once the six months have ended, you're going to review your goals. You're going to adjust your routine. Maybe 5 a.m. is too early. Maybe 6 a.m. is too early. But you're going to work around your work schedule, whatever that works for you. And then we're going to celebrate any progress that has been made each quarter, each quarter, because we got to get on a reward system type of mentality that really, really helps. We're going to refine any existing goals. Maybe you want to adjust them. Maybe you wanted to do something and now you don't want to do that anymore. So you're just going to refine that goal okay thank you so much for watching this video making the time to stop making excuses to glow up in six months okay we have july we're in july so yeah we got time don't worry but remember the tips that i told you okay? they will be in the description box below as well thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one Bye.